Now, again, back to this tax cut notion that we were telling you about here. Fewer than one out of five Americans think they got a tax cut. Uh, the, the reality is better than two out of three got a tax cut. So says the New York Times and an exhaustive report looking at the entire tax cut from its introduction uh, to adjusting for rules in states and localities across the country. But again, that perception has both fallen on deaf ears. So if Americans don't think they got much bang for the buck, then, then what does this mean for Republicans next November? The Fairfax Global Market CEO, Paul Dietrich. We've got Axios Markets editor, uh, Dion uh, Rabonin. And we've got Dietrich Bolts and Dietrich. You know what's interesting about it is perception becomes a rally. What you think yeah. is what you think is. But, and yet um, maybe it was the fact that spread out over a course of a year. I think that's a huge It wasn't a big factor. deal, right? Yeah, because we remember 2001, President George W. Bush sent out tax rebates. So you actually got a check. That was like and one big lump the, sum, right? And, and you held it in your hand, yeah. tangible, and you knew what it was. And you were like, okay, this is what I got back. Now, I do remember at the time people were complaining, where's my check? How come they can't process this faster? I mean, there were other complaints. Right. But at the end of the day, you knew what you got. So I do think the withholding that's kind of being taken little bit by little bit, just little bit less is adding up to the fact that people don't perceive it. Uh, I read something like a statistic, the middle 20 percent of taxpayers got about $780, which is, you know, relatively small. So $65 a month. I'm not saying that's not important, right. but that's an amount that you could kind of spend at the grocery and not really realize it. Yeah. Um, so I think that's part of it. It's, it was easier to miss. And then when you go to file, you're going to get a smaller refund. So then that reinforces the, ah, this is junk. You <laughs> yeah. know, kind right. of, yeah. I know, Dion, the president's going to be in Minnesota and he's going to tell business leaders, on, on the right, look, if not for this, we wouldn't be enjoying the robust recovery that we have. Do you agree with that? Yeah, well, you know what? The data bears that out because we did see a sustained pickup in the economy last year. You got growth of 3%, which President Trump had promised. Not the 4% that he originally said, but we did get 3%. Although we would have had that if that crazy if Fed for didn't die. Fed, for right? crazy yeah. pal in the Fed. But you know, he said something to that effect, right? It would be 5,000 or 10,000 points more in the Dow if we did. 10,000 more points in the Dow, 4% right. growth if only Powell, who I picked, and these other five Fed so governors precise. on the board. So precise. Picked, right, right, right. hadn't done the things that they said they were going to do before I picked them, right? Uh, but look, the other thing is, is as, as I think you said, um, it's all about psychology. And this was a bit of an own goal or, or an unforced error by Republicans who wanted to get that stimulus going into Americans' checkbooks before this year when the tax refunds were going ahead of the midterm elections. So people got the You think money. they should have front-loaded it, though, so it wouldn't well, be parsed out, let's, to this that, point, paycheck by paycheck? Right, and you just got it. You saw it. And yeah. this actually, they could have learned from President Obama in the making work pay tax cut that he passed as part of the 2009 stimulus. That was the thing that a lot of Americans didn't really notice. And then when they got their tax bills, they said, wait, wait a second, I thought I was getting a big tax cut. What, has, what happened here? And it was more like $20 here extra in a check, $20 there. So when people get a little bit extra money, they just kind of spend it. Most people aren't looking through parsing exactly yeah. how much they get every check, but they know how much that refund's supposed to be and how much they're supposed to be getting in April. You know, it's interesting too, but look at the markets, look at the economy, look at what's generated. The president will go back and say, all right, say what you will about all this kvetching over how much I got and not. Um, look at the economy. Look at these markets. Look at what's happened. What do you think? Oh, uh, th the point is, I think, that everybody I've talked to, and I know the Wall Street Journal said two-thirds of the people got a tax cut. Well, a lot of people don't work. Let me put it this way. Every working American actually got a tax cut. And if you look at the studies, even the people in, in these states the irony sold there, taxes. Unless you live in a, a high-tax state and you're wealthy, right? Even, even in those, they got a net tax cut. It was just smaller. Two-thirds of the people in New Jersey, New York, and California, they, they don't file uh, right. the, the deductions. The people who over $250,000, the, the defanged uh, AMT kicked in. Really, every single so person who worked. So these guys, <laughs> what happened where people don't feel it? It was a PR war, and okay. we lost. Uh, the, the Trump administration and the Republicans are the worst communicators in the world whoa, whoa, on the whoa, good I, things that they're trying to do. I think the Democrats have do. that locked up. I no, don't know. no, 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 I think, no. I don't think you can take that from the Democrats. No, no on this, the, the liberal <laughs> anti-tax cut people, they, they said it like a mantra over and over again that, that the middle class were getting screwed by this, that it was all for the rich billionaires. And that well, they really stuck. focused as much on corporations getting that, it. That, that too. That's, right? Wasn't that yeah, a big part of it? And I think the fact that yeah. the individual parts, the parts that affect people like us every day will eventually expire, whereas the corporate tax rate, which 
yeah. I personally think is a good thing, actually will not expire. But I do think that fed into the PR war. And even Brookings, I think, published um, a piece of research saying that people, most Americans actually don't mind paying taxes. The problem psychologically is that they perceive that corporations right. and rich people pay fewer taxes. Exactly. So it's not that so people... So it's not enough that they can't see it, but they fear companies they feel and, and rich people got more. Yeah, and the yeah. other part of it is, is if you look at the IRS statistics, actually there's only about a 1% difference in the amount of refunds people got this year versus last year. Yeah. But right. in the look, end, you're right, it was about, it was about in line. Same. But if you look yeah. at it in February, it's about an 8% difference. And those early filers are the people who expect to be getting a big tax cut, whereas with the more you wait, the more it's likely that you're one of those people who's going to have to pay or who's not going to get much. So the people who filed early, they didn't get as much as they usually got. And they were, I think, a vocal minority who were like, wait a second, I didn't get what I'm used to. Now I can't, you know, go so, out and So real quickly, then, how does the president push this? Because if it didn't register in the, in the midterms, how would it register in 2020? I, I, in the end, I'm not sure that that matters. I, I would respectfully well, I disagree. I yeah, I would respectfully disagree that people, everyone I know, saw... Um, new income in their their taxes. They're also seeing wage growth uh, yeah. in their wages, and the people at the lower okay. end of the scale are getting a much bigger percentage movement than the average wage growth. And I think people are going to remember that. They are better off today than they were before. You no, know, Ronald Reagan line. All right, guys, I want to thank you all very, very much. Sorry to jump on you there with the time constraints here. Uh, we've got the